to learn some more things about molecular and empirical formula. Let's begin. So, we have a molecular formula here C6H12O6 and this is the empirical formula for same compound. How did we get that formula? We have 6, 12 and 6 atoms of carbon hydrogen. What happens when we divide each of those by 6? We end up getting CH2O which is a molecular formula. Or if I'm going to go back from empirical formula to molecular formula, if I multiply this by 6, what I end up getting is my molecular formula. So it's that simple. Now let's think about the molar mass and I want you to know molar mass for this compound is 180.18 and how do we get the empirical formula mass? That's going to be 1 carbon times 12.01 hydrogen will be 2 times 1.01 and we get oxygen 1 atom and that times 16.00 when we add all of these Okay, the final answer is 30.03 and how do we get the molecular formula mass again molar mass we have six carbon atoms so it will be six times 12.01 then we have hydrogen 12 point 12 times 1.01 and we have six oxygen atom so it's six times 16.00 there we go when we multiply and add all of those, what we get is 180.18 grams per mole and this is grams per mole. Do you see a correlation? We have 30.03 and we have 180.18. If you multiply this by 6, we end up getting the molar mass. So that 6 which we have is the important factor and we can easily find out that factor if you have both the masses. So there we go. Alright, let's move on with finding out empirical formula and there are four steps for that. The first one is percent to the mass, then we go mass to the moles, then we go divide by the smallest and then we multiply till the whole number and I like to sing this. How do I sing it? Percent to the mass and mass to the mole. Percent to the mass and mass to the mole. Divide by the smallest. Divide by the smallest. And then what? Then multiply, multiply till the whole. So we multiply till we get the whole number. Alright, let's begin actually our first problem. So we have three different elements, zinc, nitrogen and oxygen. Let's list those here, zinc, nitrogen and oxygen. So the very first thing is we begin with percent. What's the percent we got? We got 34.39 percent, 14.82 for nitrogen and we got 50.79 percent to, uh, for oxygen. So what's our first step? Percent to the mass. So when you go percent to the mass, it's actually same thing because we are considering mass out of 100. So there we go. We got the mass. Next thing which we have is mass to the moles. How do we get mass to moles? We are going to divide each of that by the molar mass for the compound. And for zinc it is 65.39 nitrogen is 14.02 and oxygen is 16.00 
All right. So we got person to the mass and mass to the moles. After that, let's simplify how many moles we are getting for each of that. So we got. 0.5259 I got 1.0578 and 3.174 we are still in moles so what, where do we go after that okay after we go percent to the mass and mass to the mole divide by the smallest we got three numbers and out of these which is the smallest number this is the smallest number. So we are going to divide by that smallest number each of the term. Okay, there we go. And then, of course, simplify again. So what we got? One. 2.011 and 6.04. Well, we can round up this to 2 and round up this to 6. So, in a way, we got 1, 2 and 6 as the ratio of every element. If it was not there, then we will go further and you will say multiply till the whole number. In this case, we already got the whole number. So we have zinc 1, nitrogen is 2 and we get oxygen at 6. So what's the formula? It is Zn, N and then O is uh, N2 and O is 6. Or if you know, this is nothing but simply zinc nitrate. Alright, let's move to the next problem now. So here is another problem and we have carbon, hydrogen and oxygen as the three different elements. Okay. It's given to us that we have 200 grams of sample and the mass for each of the element is already given to us. That means we don't need to go through the percentage of the mass. We already have the mass and let's write down that. Next step is mass to the moles and when you do mass to the moles we divide by the molar mass for each of the element. So there we go and we end up having the simplified answer as 0.0001. Alright, the next step is divide by the smallest and smallest is 5.263. So let's divide everything by that number. And then what do we get? We end up getting for this one, you know, for sure it's 1. For this one it is 3.96. And for this one, I'm getting 1.499. So, if I want to round up this, this could be 4 and this could be 1.5. I cannot round up to 2 because it's not close to 2, neither it is close to 1. So, what do we do? At that point, you multiply to the last number. So, it's the last part. Multiply, multiply till the whole and here it's simple. We get whole number by simply multiplying by 2. So when you multiply by 2 times 1.5, we end up getting 3 as the answer. This one is 4 times 2, so it will be 8. And this is 1 times 2, which will be 2. So we got the proportion. So it's carbon, 3, hydrogen with 8. And we got oxygen too. There we go. So we ended up finding 
the empirical formula of the compound by our simple song. You want to sing it again? Okay. It's percent to the mass and mass to the moles. How do we do that? We divide by molar mass. Percent to the mass and mass to the moles. And then divide by the smallest. Whichever is smallest number, you divide by that. And then what you get is you multiply, multiply till the whole. So we multiply till we got the whole number. And there we go. So is it easy? How to find the empirical formula? I will see you in the next video.